Hello everyone, Grammateria here again, and today I am going to be making potato salad. Unfortunately, I can't give you any like actual measurements, but my, my grandson Dylan and my children and all the family members love the potato salad. And I got to give a little shout out to Kathy, who gave me a little extra zip for my usual potato salad. So, son, without further ado, here is the directions for potato salad. So, here inside the bowl, I have about five russet potatoes. They were medium size to large. Um, I've already peeled and diced, cooked them, put them in the refrigerator to get them cooled. I do not like to make potato salad in hot potatoes unless you're doing German potato salad, but that's a whole different thing. Anyway, so I will start off with the mayonnaise. Now I have here Duke's mayonnaise, which has no sugar in it, but it's my <clears throat> favorite mayonnaise. Now if you don't have Duke's mayonnaise in your neck of the woods, then just get real mayonnaise, like Hellman's, Best Foods. Don't use Miracle Whip. That has some nasty, I don't know what to it, in my opinion. Now, other people might like it, but I don't. And the family doesn't like it. So then, I don't really have a measure. I take a blob and throw it in, stir it around, and see where I'm at. Whoops, a diving potato. I don't like the potato salad to be over mayonnaised. So then I look and say, okay, it's eh, and we'll add a little bit more mayonnaise until I think that it's just right. I'm going to wipe this spoon off. Because I got to stick it back in the mayonnaise. I wasn't too smart about that not having two spoons. So in another blob and throw it in there, stir it around until it looks about right. Not too mayonnaise. Okay, so this looks right to me. Not over mayonnaise. Then I'm gonna throw in the celery. And this is about two stalks Depending, I'm going to put some of it in and stir it around and see if maybe I didn't chop up too much. This is all really an eyeball and what you like kind of a deal. Now I'll throw the rest of it in. It depends on what you like. If you like a lot of celery or a little bit of celery. Now, some people put onions in the potato salad. I do not, because there's too many people that don't like onions. I have hard boiled eggs here that are chopped up. There's two and a half eggs for this particular um, set of potatoes. And again, you just stir it around. I, uh, I was chopping up the eggs and I looked and thought I had just a little bit too many. So, I ate the other half. <laughs> it was quite tasty. Um, you mix that all up and then I'm going to do a little blob of your dill relish. This is upside down. It's Heinz. And again, just a couple squirts. Mix it in. See where you're at. Sometimes along the way here. I'm well, apparently the battery went out at some point during the filming, and I don't know what point, because I wasn't really looking up. But I added a little mustard, mixed it around. I had added the pickle relish to see how that did. And now my friend Kathy um, had made potato salad before, and it was fabulous. And she added... A little tiny dash of Robusto Italian dressing. Now it has to be Robusto 
So I Robusto, Robusto, stir. It gives it just a little spark. And then you're done. Um, salt and pepper to taste is always good. But there you go. Potato salad. Have a fabulous week. But we'll be back in a little while because we're still going to make the, um, the whole wheat zucchini bread with the chocolate chunks that I promised before. Yay! No Bob Mills this time. This is Grandma Terry signing off for now. Bye-bye.